M0FXB. Welcome to my unboxing of the Yaesu VX3 VHF UHF wideband dual band transceiver. It's a very compact device. So let's just get the box open. These, when they came out many years ago, I think they were about £200, maybe less. They were actually quite good value. Luckily, I got mine with a few extras, which always helps. I'll show you them in a bit. So there, let's show you the instruction manual. Remember, this is the Europe model. There's our instruction manual just here. I'll just flick through that. I mean, look at that. Wow, and this is like probably 15 years old and it's still in very good condition. We've got the actual the radio itself, which is here. And it was one of the first devices that had this sort of push and turn knob, which you sort of pull, say pull and turn, should I say? Pull and turn and then you can lock it back down. SMA antenna at the top there, 3.5 jack as well. And they squeezed all this in. There are clones of these, but you know, this is original SMA. And then you look like you've got your PTT just here. And what's that one there? Money Squelch, is it? On off there. Still got the screen protector on, though it's, it has been removed, but the seller still had it. So you put it on that. You've got quite a small, you know, DC input there ear that's your earpiece so then the top one is marked mic and speaker it looks like we can actually connect a 3.5 jack speaker at the back uh, to take off the back cover you just clip it backwards and then you go like that and we'll show you the the battery it's one of these slim lines sort or of camera batteries but you know it's a solid solid construction so i wonder what's under there i bet you something naughty that we can probably do so let's see what else is in the box. We've got the original charger, the EU version. Let's take that out. Oh, it's got, that's good. It's got a British plug. And then, yeah, again, this tiny little charger. And I've got the USB one here, which is the same. It's just, it'll plug into a, a USB connector, which is very handy. This is an additional item that you purchase. Uh, but it has the same connector. Probably would fit on a, some of my other radios. Quite a small antenna, being that it's for two meters as well. Um, so let's get that out of there. If that'll fall out, you can see that. And there's our our slimline battery. And you can buy these batteries. They're very common. Yeah, I just looked online. You can even buy separate little chargers for them. I might even have one. I've got the VX3 clone here. It might have the same battery. But anyway, uh, anything left in this box? So we'll lift out the center part. And I do always keep the boxes. I don't know. I just feel better when I've got all the original boxes. It looks like he's given me this. Yesu Notice. And what's this? The original warranty card. Look at that. Come on. Brilliant. And then you've got the alkaline battery. Um, which clips on the back, three AA batteries there, which I think is excellent that I've got all this, you know, with quite an old device. So let's connect the antenna. Hopefully the battery's got some charge in it. And you can see just straight away, mode, band, power, VFO memory, F function button, home reverse that's the old internet arts that they were doing back then um, i'm guessing that's broadcast radio just there volume and then turn and then you've got vfo memory so interesting that they have they've got the the ear on the side and then they've got the the one on top which is marked mic and speaker but this plugged into a speaker. I might, I'm going to put my Bluetooth sender in that and see what that sounds like. So let's grab the battery. Like I said, easy to get spares. And these, you can still actually buy these brand new. If you go to China, you can actually buy these brand, brand spanking new, these VX3s. Plunk that in. I'm not going to force it. I'm going to make sure I just take my time. Don't rush. That went in quite nicely then. Then we've got a, a lock here. And I've noticed that when I was fiddling that, yeah, it went in easy that time. It was a bit stiff earlier. And you think, you know, this is what I love about ham gear. 
people always say, oh, you've got too many radios, it costs too much. But this thing's over 15 years old and it actually still looks new. It actually still looks new. So let's just turn it on. And it's not a bright, bright orange. I'm sure you can adjust the contrast and you pull it up and then you can turn. And then let's see if we can pull it up. BFO memory, any memory channels in there? No, <laughs> looks like it's factory reset. So we're gonna have to be programming. Now the programming cable, yeah, is one of these type ones. Now I'm not sure if it goes in the side or the top. We'll, we'll, we'll learn that when we, when we come to programming. Press, if you press the volume here, up and then turn down the volume. So you're pressing that and turning down the volume. Then you can select, see it there? We've got FM, AM, wide FM and auto. Let's go to band. Oh, there's no bank. So how do we go to band? Do we go to memory? Ah, so we'll go to VFO mode. And in VFO mode, we can select different bands. So 174, 222. 446, which is PMR. Let's see if we can get down to my to my node. I need to just work out how to change the step. Can I just press this? No. Let's work that one out. You can see the word step written here. So we're going to go function and then step and get a nice big step. They are 50, 50 kilohertz. Like so, press it again. Right, so my node is on 434550. I could have done bigger steps, couldn't have I? I'm sure there's a faster way, but anyway. 434550. There it is there. Let's do the volume. Hold the volume. Should we try a speaker? I got my uh, plugged it in here actually into the earphones, like so. This Bluetooth sender here, and then I'll grab my Bluetooth little mini speaker I've got. This little thing here, see if it pairs. These are like eight pound on Amazon. Should just turn it on and it pairs. Oh, dropped it. Okay, it has paired. Let's see if we can get it louder. It's not very, very loud. But that is pairing. So, of course, this hasn't got the Bluetooth. But these are £6.99 on Amazon. We now have Bluetooth. And, of course, you can fit a much, a much bigger speaker. You know, I'm just fitting a very small speaker just for demonstration. Well, I've got this big one here, which I will connect. And that thing's going to boom. It doesn't need much power. So the other thing we're going to test while we're at, we're going to do air band. Why not? So we'll go band. And it goes up to 1,000 megahertz. Did you see that? And it's 30 megahertz shortwave. How do we get air band? I need to work this one out. Mode. So we'll go to AM. Probably when we're on 108. Yeah, I would say, and then step. So we go function. Sorry, I'm blind. Function, step. Let's go. Oh, you've got 8.33, which is the latest. Let's do 100 just for now. And then we'll go to 133850, which is my airband where it's busy above above me. I know there's going to be a quicker way of changing this. I just, you know, I've just got this, so bear with. And we're in air band frequencies already. Just going to put an antenna adapter on there. So it's 133850. And then let's have a listen. Screw this adapter on like so. They're only about two pound. Okay, and then BNC connector here. Get my, it's a VHF UHF antenna on my roof. We've locked the frequency. Antenna goes in. VHF UHF. 
and then we're going to wait uh, for a transmission volume yeah volumes up let's wait remember to select am with the mode button you've got actually we haven't set the squelch hmm. squelch type and um, you can press monitor button here ah oh, it's not letting me do. ah there you go look at that come on sounds great Excellent. Now we hit radio. There you go. Thank you so much for joining us here on. So, and this is, you know, this is the highest quality Once device. A satellite phone call meant a special phone. And of course, you can get 446, which is PMR. I'm interested with the whole shortwave frequencies. Quite interesting how, you know, because it's such a wide band device. Five, nine, four, what's that? Let's turn off the radio, I think. Two meter handband. Let's see if we can get any repeaters there. Ooh, it's, it's automatically put, putting in the shifts. Of course, it does transmit. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get it from here with on one, one and a half watt when, when it's just the the battery power probably need a tone there i'm going to do videos set, adding repeaters as well oh i held down that and it said memory right so that's how we do memories that was quick we have a memory channel yeah i'm going to use software as well if you look just here it says set see it there set if we press and hold TXPO, like so, we go into the settings menu, okay? You need the knob up to go through them. Just quickly flick through. We're not going to know what everyone is straight away. EAI. Extended menu. Ooh, we want that. Hey, more menus. FW key, half deviation, home VFO. LED light. Can we do it on? Oh, that's the torch. Okay. Uh, lock mic gain. DSP memories. Memory names. So it's very menu driven, which will drive you crazy as well. Repeater shift plus or minus. Oh, that's the amount. So that's the shift amount. We go back to repeater. There it is, plus or minus. And you're pressing it again. Scan lamp. Oh, look at it. It's like a hundred menus. Weather. Antenna. Oh, yeah, you've got a choice of the antenna external or the inside antenna. Interesting. Antenna attenuation, is it? Power off, is that? ARS, which we will, we will test. Why not? Banks. CW, because remember it does CW training. Okay, so let's just go, let's back out of that. How do we back out? Let me just we hold again. Oh yeah, hold down, back out. If you hold down here, we're in VFO mode. Hold down, it starts to scan. Quite fast, if you ask me. Look at this, dual watch, let's try it. I'm not sure if it's this button or this button. Let's try hold down VM. Dual watch. So now you can listen to two bands at the same time and it'll you have to set them. See it there? Just flicking across, flicking over. You set the dual watch. It's flicking back. Scan and lock as well. And then look, SPCS. I don't know what that is, so let's hold it. Channel count. I actually don't know what that is. 
Okay. Well, how do we get out of it? <laughs> uh, F button. Let's hold. Oh yeah, you're holding it down to write memory channels. Reverse the AR. Should we just press the ARTS? See if it goes into it. It ARTS starts to transmit DCS code so people can see if you're in range. It's good for tracking. We saw radio, and if you hold down. It's not showing it, but you see the way it says antenna there? Because you've got the internal, external antenna, FM. Yeah, I'll see it, I think. That's enough for now. I want to do videos programming it and adding channels and programming using the software. and testing all the features, but I think overall, great fun. Thanks for watching and bye for now.